What do you want me to do? The game keeps getting rearranged. I just want a live com against West Ham. It's not going to happen today. We have hit some impressive run of form since the last episode, the first game of which was against Nottingham Forest, where we won 2-0. Gonzalo Ramos and Malik Wilkes with the goals in this one. Birmingham was the next opposition, this time away from home, and Sebastiano Esposito got both goals to give us a comfortable three points. Birmingham offered absolutely nothing going forward. And would you take a look at this? The League Cup fourth round was drawn against Manchester City, and I'd already written it off in my mind. I thought, this is it, this is where we go out. We won 2-1 away from home. Rhys Nelson and Sebastiano Esposito got two goals in the first half to give us the 2-0 lead. Patrick Roberts had made it interesting in the second half with a 54th minute goal. But as you can see, we stopped Manchester City from creating pretty much anything. And we're through to the next round while we face Manchester United. Next up was a 4-1 away victory against Rotherham United. Malik Wilkes, Bruno Costa, Rhys Nelson and Corley Woodrow with the goals. And to stop our winning run was uh, Aston Villa away from home. I'm, I'm actually buzzing with the point. I thought we were going to get beaten this game. Villa are a very good side. They are vying for the playoffs. And being away from home, I, I didn't feel that confident going into it. Trezeguet gave them the lead in the fourth minute. Malik Wilkes in, uh, equalised in the 64th. Alex Mowat put us in front in the 74th. But a late Trezeguet goal gave Aston Villa the point. And this is how the Skybet Championship looks after those set of fixtures. We sit top of the table three points clear from West Ham with a game in hand we are absolutely dominating this league still unbeaten absolutely loving life and we are now five points clear from QPR in third and six points clear from West Brom in fourth and we still have the game in hand against West Brom and three games in hand against QPR who are going to be today's first opponent we've got them at home and then we'll play Cardiff next who currently sit in sixth position two big games against two of the best sides in the league, both in the uh, playoff spots at the moment, um, and but both could easily be in contention for automatic promotion come the end of the season. So this is how we're going to line up for today's game against QBR. Uh, Jamal Blackman will start in goal. Jordan Williams, Batella, Halmir and Tony Herrera will start in the defence. Unfortunately for us, our other starting centre-back is currently suspended for today's game. Basoli and Moat will start in the centre. Wilkes, Gonzalo Ramos, Reese Nelson plays in behind Esposito. Our usual front four at this point whilst Arjen van der Heerde is injured and probably has been took out back and shot. The game has been very quiet. First 20 minutes or so, no highlights to speak of yet. Our boys haven't really got going in this game, but we finally get our first highlight now. 26 minutes in, it's QPR who are on the attack. And Asai Samuel gets down this uh, right-hand side, Blackburn, with an easy save really. And that was the highlight I thought was going to lead on to something else. 38 minutes in, maybe it's our turn this time to go down the left-hand side and cause QPR some problems. We end up going all the way back, though. It's been about a good minute or so in-game. We are just playing the ball about between the midfield and the defence. It's usually not a very good sign, but Halmir finds Reese Nelson on this left-hand side. He gets past his man and he gets to the byline. It, that's been given as a penalty? Really? I will take it all, dear. Who's going to step up? It's going to be Basoli, our defensive midfielder, to step up. Put us 1-0 up 40 minutes in and he does so. He beats the keeper going to his right hand side and get that's his fourth goal of the season. I think the VAR been penalties apart from that wonder goal so we'll take it. And that is going to be that for the first half. A pretty even game all things told. Not a lot happening in the final thirds of either half but we'll kick off for the second half hoping for a better performance from our boys. Remember QPR are in third position so they are one of the best sides in the league. So if we are nullifying them like this we are just, we're just cruising. I'm loving this. Another highlight now, it's going to be a QPR set piece. Galchev is to take it. He plays a shot at Asai Samuel. And that is disallowed. Offside, unlucky board. Only 20 minutes left on the clock. We are on the attack down the left-hand side. Long ball over the top. Goes straight to the keeper. And let's see where this goes. It looks like it's going to go QPR's way as they come forward through the centre of the park. We've got men back in numbers. So hopefully we can defend this well. But a long ball over the top. Tony Herrero completely bottles that. And look at the overlap from the right hand side. But we nip in and pinch the ball. And Gonzalo Ramos can come down the left. He plays through Esposito in behind. And it's a great finish. Sebastiano Esposito. It's an own goal. Joe Lumley has just scored an own goal. It must have been going off target. We'll have to see that again in the replay. Ramos does excellently with a lovely little through ball. Esposito remains onside. And he goes for goal. And that is going wide until Lumley gets his hand to it and parries it into his own goal. Barnsley 2, QPR 0. We take any goal at Barnsley. 
We'll make some substitutes now. Reese Nelson can come off for Coley Woodrow. Gonzalo Ramos can come off for Bruno Costa. And Malik Wilkes can come off for Bicho. And that's the sub. all of our subs done in one go. 17 minutes remaining. QPR go close from a corner. They're, they're not scoring it yet. I'm just feel it. Moat with the corner now. It's played into the front post. It's cleared by QPR. But we remain on the attack. And it falls to Bicho. He gets his first goal of the season. It's an assist from Sebastiano Esposito. And Barnsley now 3-0 up, and that is three points in the bag. Uh, a corner that is cleared initially, but uh, QPR don't get out fast enough. Patella keeps it alive, and Mo Moat's cross is headed down by Esposito, and it's the first time at half volley. Ten minutes to go, we are just cruising. Are QPR going to get themselves a consolation, or are we going to counter with Bruno Costa? Long ball over the top, Sebastiano Esposito is in behind. He goes for goal, and Esposito gets his 17th goal of the season, and that was a hell of a finish. It all comes from a QPR attack. A great ball down the wing from Bruno Costa. Sets away Esposito and the defence is nowhere to be seen. It's a very, very tight angle. But he manages to beat Lumley at his far post. 4-0. This is the team that are in third. Let's just remind ourselves we are absolutely dominating. And this will be the final highlight of the game with only one and a half minutes remaining. It's QPR who are on the attack but we do have men in defence. We pinch the ball and beat you up and come away with it after a black man free kick, uh, kick out and Esposito goes for goal, hits the post. Time has ticked away now, ref. Come on, blow the full time whistle. This highlight's been going on for about three minutes in game. And there we have it. Barnsley 4, QPR 0. An absolutely fantastic result uh, from our perspective. And that should see us rise even further in the table. I'm not sure if West Ham were playing today because uh, we do have that game in hand on them. We will. Well, we'll get to the Cardiff game. We'll play them next. And we'll see where the table looks after that game. Cardiff in sixth position. It's going to be tough. Let's see how it goes. So we're back for the second game of today's episode. Not very many changes to the start 11. Blackman in goal. Uh, Williams Tisserand returns to the start 11 with Patella at centre back. Tony Herrero is left back. Basali Moat Wilkes. Bruno Costa comes in as Gonzalo Ramos is really struggling. He needs a rest a lot. Um, so he comes in in the attack midfield. Reese Nelson on the left-hand side and Sebastiano Esposito will start up top. First time I've seen a 4-4-2, I think, this season. It's Derby. Wayne Rooney is up top. His pace is electrifying. We're going to have to be wary of that. He's on 50k a week. <laughs> I mean, we only spend about 200, so there's a quarter of our wage budget just sitting with one man there. But uh, they're doing... Was I always meant to play Derby? I thought I was meant to be playing Cardiff. Anyway, I guess that's changed. Games must have been rearranged again on me and I didn't even realise. Uh, I don't. I have no idea how Derby are doing in the league. Let's take a look. They are currently sitting in 10th position. <laughs> Am I tripping? Were we meant to be playing Cardiff today? I think we were. It must have been rearranged and I've just completely missed the notification. Never mind. Derby's just as good. Let's see how we do. First highlight of the game. We have to wait 30 minutes for it to come. And it's Derby who are on the attack with Odauda on this left-hand side. He gets past um, Williams at that. We're right back. Gets the ball in. Batella manages to clear, but they can keep up the pressure unless... Oh, no. Maybe Esposito could have nicked in and won the ball there. But Fry plays it out to Lawrence on this right-hand side. The ball's whipped in. Odauda's there. Poor header in the end. Another highlight now. Reese Nelson pinches the ball in the final third. He plays it in Esposito. And that is a dreadful finish from our finisher. <laughs> Only seven minutes to go in this first half. There is another highlight. I would like to see us actually be able to craft out an opportunity from this. Esposito heads it down to Moat. That's a great header as well. To be able to keep possession under that much pressure. Fantastic. Basoli tries to play in uh, Williams over the top on the right-hand side. It doesn't quite work. But we can do it on the left-hand side with Tony Herrero getting the ball from uh, Reese Nelson. The ball's played into Wilkes at the back post. He gets his eighth goal of the season. An assist. From our youngster, three and a half million pound Tony Herrero, proving he's worth every single penny. And we get ourselves one nil up before half time, which is ideal. It is a good cross to the back post, and Wilkes, although he, again, he's similar to last season, I think he's averaging like a 6.9. He's still getting the goals, though. Eight goals this season, we'll take it. And that is going to be that for the first half. A disappointing one in terms of the game and the match stats, but we don't really care because we're one nil up. Let's kick off the second half. And hope for a better performance from our boys. Another highlight now. Tony Herrero getting the ball back from Bruno Costa on the left hand side. He plays it into Wilkes again. It's a comfortable save in the end for the QPR goalkeeper. And the highlight is going to continue. Collins picks it up for uh, Derby. Plays it to Odauda on this left hand side. It seems a lot of uh, their attacking player comes through him 
on the left. We managed to get it clear this time, but it's not over. Lawrence coming down the right hand side, whips the bar. Why? He goes for goal and he hits the bar. Blackman wasn't getting close to that, and Danny Ward gets his first goal of the season. And he puts Derby level with us at 1-1. Disappointing way to concede the goal. Lawrence here, very unfortunate not to score from the initial thing. But we should be winning this second ball. We are completely asleep. Pull two players out of position. And there is Danny Ward at the front post to be able to slot it away. Time is just ticking away in the second half. Neither side really taking this game to the other. But Bruno Costa with the corner. Batella is there. Batella. Get that on target and that's in. Don't really have the quality coming off the bench to be able to make a difference in today's game. We'll get Reese Nelson off. We'll bring on Corley Woodward on this left-hand side. He has been uh, impactful in this position before. Maybe he can do it again today. The time is just ticking away. We are not doing anything. We're going to keep Malik Wilkes on. Bruno Costa is going to come off for Beecho. And Dimitri Cavari is going to come on for Jordan Williams at our right-back spot. But unless we are to do something here in the final few minutes, I don't really I will go very attacking for the injury time. But... It's looking likely we're going to fall to a 1-1 draw at home against Derby. Not a great result, that. Um, it's two points definitely dropped rather than a point gained. But at the same time, we're still unbeaten. The league table's going absolutely fine. And um, we've avoided some slippery tasks uh, in the past few games. So we'll take it anyway. West Ham, then. They must have just been beat. Or, yes, they did. They got beat at home against Luton. That is absolutely beautiful. Exactly what you want to see. And we now sit four points clear at the top of the table with the game in hand over West Ham. Six points clear from Cardiff in third, who I thought we were playing. Turns out it wasn't them. Yeah, the Cardiff game has gone completely, so it's definitely been rearranged. Looks like that's the rearranged game there, because it was a home game as well. So, uh, this is just rearranged City in the next episode. Right, listen. Just, no, listen. In the next episode, I would like to play West Ham. 9th of December... There's no internationals in December. Surely, is there internationals in December? Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Either way, I would like to play West Ham. Should it be rearranged, we will play Reading and Manchester United. If it's not rearranged, we will play West Ham and Manchester United. I want to bring you the League Cup quarterfinal. I think it'll be an interesting game, considering we've already knocked out Manchester City. Maybe we could do it again. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, Get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.